I've been putting off talking about these new vintage collection figures because, quite frankly, I've just had more fun talking about Transformers lately. But, I've put it off long enough. Let's talk about the Cassian Andor Aldani mission figure, which was, it's based on a very awesome series of episodes. But I understand it's not entirely accurate. And then we have, finally, after about 50,000 years, a new Admiral Piet. The last Piet we got was back in, like, what, Power of the Force or something? I'll probably do a jump cut. I need to go in my other room. I want to grab that one and compare it. Uh, I didn't think to do that, but I actually want to do that. Uh, it's very nice to have a new Piet, and I do believe this might be a brand new officer mold as well, if not mostly new. We'll figure it out. Uh, but, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's talk about Cassian first, because I'm personally pretty excited for this figure. I think the Aldani mission arc was pretty cool in Andor. I really enjoyed how Andor was like an arc-based show. Like, you know, three episodes were kind of based on, you know, one thing occurring, and then, you know, three episodes, another thing. I really liked the arc style. You know, there's all the Aldani mission. Well, first it was like the, uh, the stuff on like Andor's home planet, and then it was the Aldani mission, and then it was kind of like the prison, you know, it's really cool. I really liked how it uh, just varied with that. Um, I did, unfortunately, uh, I think when I bought it, actually had a tear in the card back already, but I'm not worried about that. It's I'm not someone looking for perfection with my card backs. And then we have the ever-annoying, ever-frustrating piece of paper that you get with vintage collection figures. I hate this. Uh, but let's get Aldani Mission Cassian out here. Oh, his hat's removable. I had no idea that was removable. I've not seen any videos or reviews of this guy yet. Uh, I was just like, yeah, you know, I saw him in Target, and I was like, yeah, I'll buy him. I'll buy him. I like him. Uh, I don't really pre-order a lot of stuff anymore, as I've said in the past, so I never got a pre-order in on this guy, even though I do believe this figure right here was the first vintage collection pre-order at that ridiculous $16.99 price. I believe it's the very first. Uh, he does not want to focus, because he just hates me, I guess. So, first impression, without that hat, he is not looking good. Uh, so let's, let's maybe get the hat back on. I feel like maybe his hair might be a little too long, I don't know. But I think, yeah, he looks way better with that hat on, for sure. Definitely leave that hat on. Uh, he doesn't come with an E-11, surprisingly. He only comes with, like, the, like, the pistol-style weapon. Uh, so he has that. Uh, and that goes back there. Even though he clearly, on the card back, is shown with an E-11. So I'll probably have to grab him an E-11 at some point. Uh, I do think he might be uh, some reuse. I think he actually has a lot of reuse. Yeah, he's got, like, older-style hips. Um, I think he's kind of got, like, some shore troopers, some, like, tank trooper parts. Uh, yeah, for sure. Look, he even has, like, the old-style ankles. This guy's reusing a lot. I'm not sure what is new on him. Uh, I'm not really the kind of reviewer, the kind of guy that's like, oh, this piece is new, this piece is new, this piece is new, but that's old, that's old, that's old. It's, it's, a, mi it's a mix match. Uh, it's got some... Some stuff that's old, some stuff that's new. Uh, like I said, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's not really that accurate, but I mean, I'm looking at it. He's He's got the armor. He's got... It, it looks good. Looks looks fine to me. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely nothing like right home about. I, I definitely think the other Cassian is a much better figure. If you only get one Cassian from Andor, definitely get like the normal style one. That one's really good. That's actually... It might be on my like, top 10 vintage collection figures of the year or something. I love that Cassian. This one's just all right. It's all right. Uh, so he's got a ball joint at the head. Pretty typical. Again, you can remove that hat, and it, he's definitely got some hat hair going on. Very soft, squishy hat, by the way. But yeah, you can do that. Uh, the shoulders. Pretty sure these arms are reused, so that's going to be pretty average range. Pretty decent elbows. Uh, he does have... In and out at this wrist and up and down at this wrist. So that's really nice. Uh, ball joint right there. And then he's got those ball hinges at the hips instead of the ball joints. And because this is like a reuse of that shore trooper mold, it still has like the shore trooper legs. Jeez, that hat is not wanting to stay on. Oh my gosh. Uh, the, the knees are not good. Not good for the knees. And the ankles are like pre-rocker. So... Yeah, they, I feel like, kind of similar to Marvel Legends, how they're still using bodies with the freaking pins in them. I feel like Vintage Collection needs to try to reduce their reuse of bodies with, uh, you know, with just like hinge swivel ankles. And then bodies that don't have the best range of movability, but 
again, you know, I feel like with this whole scale as a whole, it's not really needed. Like, super-duper mega articulation is not required for this scale. Uh, they just... We're, we're building the universe of Star Wars here. That's what we're doing. And I think this figure does a pretty good job at it. I, I like it. Uh, is it perfect? No. Is it 100% accurate? No. But I like it. I like it. I'm happy I got this. I don't think they're going to make any of the other people from Andor. I don't really think they need to. Like, hell, they did Vel Sartha. I didn't even buy her. I'll buy her if I see her for, like, five bucks someday. But I'm not I'm not spending, like, $17, whatever they want from me on that. <laughs> it just doesn't look like a fun figure. It looks like the kind of thing I'd spend $17 on, open it up and say, cool, and then put it on the shelf. Heck, that's probably what I'm going to do with this thing. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool, but, you know, give them an E11, make them look a little more accurate. <clears throat> it's, it's not perfect, but I like it. I like it. If this is one you're thinking about, I maybe don't spend 17 bucks on it. And I understand, I understand other countries, they're asking even more than that. But, you know, you got to think, I'm, I'm American, these are my prices, this is how I'm dealing with things. Uh, <laughs> so I understand in other countries, it's even more expensive. Uh, but, we've got Admiral Piat here, this is the one I'm definitely more excited for. Love the card back, Return of the Jedi. Uh, I didn't even look at the back of the card on Cassian. Yeah, I've got all those figures now except Velsartha because she's boring. And I do want to get another Starkiller to change out the outfit. But I just haven't seen it yet. Uh, Cal's really good. That Cassian's amazing. The clone is eh, alright. Uh, Hunter's pretty good. Uh, and Piet. We will see on Piet. I do like the new clone mold. I do. But man, that helmet really lets it down. Alright, let's open up Piet. Let's see what he's got going on. Uh, I figured I'd... You know, just open these on camera because a lot of people still to this day ask, how do you open your TVC cards to make them look, make them look so nice? I just I cut them, dude. And you just you take a knife and you cut it. <laughs> there is more precision than that. There is more, like, detail. I did do a whole dedicated video. You can just look up, like, how to open TVC cards or whatever. Or I might link it if I remember. But there we go. Nice and clean, nice and clean. I want to do, like, a mural with them someday. We'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's get Piet out. So far, he's, like I said, he's looking real good. Piet's a personal favorite of mine. He was kind of one of the main Imperial officers uh, in Empire, and he was even more prominent in Return of the Jedi. Um, he, oh, his hat is also removable. I wonder, is it the same hat? Different color. Different color. I think it's a different hat. Yeah, it's different. It's a different hat. That's cool. I like that they're different. All right, so let's take a look at not the card back's face, but the figure's face. That's a really nice likeness. He's kind of got those sunken eyes. That looks like Piet. Like, if someone would show me this figure and say, who do you think this is? I'm like, that looks like Piet. Because, yeah, looks like Piet. I think this is an all-new figure. Is it? Yeah, it's got, like, hinges. I, I think this is all new. Because I think, like, one of the last, like, newer officers they've done was, like, wasn't it Nita? In, like, Legacy Collection? That was a long time ago. Here, this will really show us. Yeah, he's got ball joints at the hips now. This is an all-new officer body. They are going to do Jer Jared as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick him up. Because uh, I actually really like that old Saga Collection one. And I don't need, like... I don't need the same, like, body mold a trillion times. Especially for an Imperial officer. Because, uh, you know, officers are cool. But I don't need every single one to be super articulated. Uh, yeah, this is, this is really nice. You can see he's got nice deep knees... He's got the ankle rockers. He's got the ball joints at the hips instead of the ball hinges like Cassian. He's got a ball joint at the torso that makes him rock around. He comes with this really nice style pistol. I don't think I've ever seen this in, like, Hasbro action figure form. I don't think I've ever seen this pistol before. If I'm if I'm wrong, you know, feel free to correct me, but it's, it's, not, it's not jogging any memories, man. This feels very new. Let's just kind of get that in his hand there. There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah, he's got a you know wrist hinge as well, so we can have him aim that a little better. Yeah, dude, this is nice. This Piet's really nice. I like good old Piet. <laughs> oh man, he he did not he did not go out well. <laughs> out of all the Imperial officer deaths, I think his was perhaps one of the most memorable. He's really cool though. I wonder if Drew Jared made it out okay. You think Drew Jared's okay? Drew Jared was kind of a bro. I think we all like Drew Jared. They uh, deleted a scene in Return of the Jedi where Drew Jared, I think, was like 
hesitant on shooting on Endor. I think like Jared actually was showing like signs of humanity and like didn't want to shoot Endor. That would have been cool to keep in. Uh, but you know, it's the movie was already had so much going on. We didn't we didn't need a random imperial officer to have a moral dilemma. But still, it was kind of appreciated. Yeah, yeah, Piet, just a cool dude, uh, he, he's a cool figure. If if you're an imperial collector like I am, if you have tons of imperial things, tons of ships, tons of vehicles, tons of troopers, tons of officers, you need this Piet. Uh, let me show you why. This is why. This has been our Admiral Piet for years and years and years. Uh, definitely over two decades. Uh, probably a decade and a half, uh, two, two and a half decades. Uh, we have been, this has been our only Piet for the longest time. And obviously, you know, him being one of the main officers, an old Power of the Force figure doesn't really fly. It really doesn't. Not only that, but like, it doesn't look like him too much. This new one actually looks a lot like him. And uh, the rank badge isn't right at all. I'm going to assume the Vintage Collection one's correct. I'm going to assume it's correct. It might not be, but I'm just thinking they might have just probably repainted Tarkin, gave him a new head. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I can I can do the same thing you're going to do. I can look it up on Jedi Business and find out. <laughs> you know, it is it is what it is. But what my point is, this figure's old. This is an old, old figure. And it's seriously just 5 POA. It's oddly proportioned, doesn't look that good. So in my collection now, this is Admiral Piet. And this is just going to be some random officer in the back of some display someday. That is uh, that is my plan. <laughs> that is my plan. I really like this Piet. I might get the Ger Jared, we'll see. Because I do like Ger Jared as a character. I'd love to see them reuse this body somehow and give us a new Tarkin. One that actually looks like Peter Cushing. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Because <laughs> the old vintage collection Tarkin was not good. It was weird. It was green. Looked nothing like him. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Alrighty, guys. There we go. There's my look at two new vintage collection figures. Both very imperially. One, you know, a loyalist to the Empire, and one just a guy in disguise. They're both very nice. Uh, Piet, definitely more so, since it's an all-new body. I really appreciate that. It's a really cool figure. It's definitely going to be nice going in my Imperial ranks and, you know, whatever diorama he ends up in someday. And the Cassian, you know, I might put him with my Empire. I might just have him in, like, the back of a diorama sneaking around doing some spy mission or whatever. It's a cool figure. It's cool to have, but it's definitely kind of dated, you know, not 100% accurate. It's got some weird little things going on. If you like the idea of just an Imperial kind of ground trooper disguised Cassian and or, you know, the Aldani mission figure is pretty solid. But out of these two, if you only get one, definitely get Piet. And again, the new price tag is rough. If you can try to get these on some kind of a sale, definitely do it. With me, I got Admiral Piet with like my $5 monthly GameStop rewards. And I've and with that rewards thing, I've already made my money back and then some. This is only 15 bucks a year. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> and Cassie Nandor, uh, I think when I rang him out, I think he actually was $16.99. And I decided to just get it anyway. Definitely not worth that. <laughs> I would suggest trying to find it for a sale or something. And again, I understand it's more expensive in other countries. I understand that. But, you know, the fact that vintage collection stuff has gone from $10 to $17 in the span of 10 years is quite the jump. <laughs> it's quite the jump. It's nearly twice as expensive as they used to be. It's pretty ridiculous. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.